You'll never guess what. But I bumped into the most radiant rainbow on my morning run, like we're talking full spectrum end to end brilliance. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any brighter, it did because guess what? I've decided to slow down on my gaming escapades and focus on enhancing my VR design skills. So, I dove right in and enrolled myself in this lavish, premium online VR design course. How cool is that? I'm not just inputting codes and seeing what pops out anymore. We're now creating digital ecosystems. The favorite part of my course, the cherry on top so far, is that I'm going to specialize in ecological environment design, which is kind of like terraforming, but in the virtual world. Oh, you know me and my undying love for any and everything techie and sustainable. You know what they say, it takes a village to raise a child and I have my own personal village in this quest. Well, sort of, I got Luke, remember him. He's this VR demigod who's been mentoring me through all this. His wisdom and patience are such a gas to my spark and I'm super psyched about this new journey. Anyways, earlier in the day, I was chit-chatting with Nina and Eric. So Nina was jamming to some old rock songs, Led Zeppelin and the likes, while at lunch. I wish I could play the guitar as well as them. It sparked an idea in their kooky heads, ended up suggesting that my next VR project could be a guitar tutorial. I think it's a wild idea. Imagine learning to play your favorite song with VR, the prospects are endless. However, Eric being Eric warned as long as it's not another of my cooking classes. Nina hinted at creating a VR experience of a rainforest or a coral reef. Can you imagine the lushness? Well, as much as I am flattered and excited, right now I need to focus on mastering the ABCs of VR design, one thing at a time. Not to bore you with technical geeky stuff, but I caught myself daydreaming about the infinite potential this knowledge gives me. Oh, and don't even get me started on Eric and his quirky musings. He started this whole tangent about how PBMJ tastes better when it's made by someone else, during our serious discussion. Classic Eric, always ready with a random sidetrack that gets me every time. Gosh, I missed our banter so much. Anyway, I guess it's time for me to dive back into the digital world. I promise to keep you posted with all my progress. Don't forget to keep all those ideas coming. Maybe I'll find my next VR project hidden in your messages. Sorry to cut this short, though. So, about the space simulation last night, oh, it was a riot. Trust me, when you're in the midst of stellar bodies dealing with asteroids and artificial gravity, the adrenaline is off the charts. I felt like a bona fide astronaut on a deep space mission. It's crazy how technology has advanced to this extent, allowing us everyday folks to get a taste of the cosmos right from our couches. Now, you must be wondering how Martin comes into the picture, right? Well, buckle up. As I was navigating my character around a deserted exoplanet, guess who logged into the multiplayer session? You guessed it, Martin. That dude knows how to make an entrance, even in a virtual universe. He'd not only aced his vehicle customization, but he'd also mastered evasive maneuvers, proving to be a real ace in the dogfights we had against alien bots. If we ever decide to form a professional gaming squad, he's going to be our secret weapon. Then coming back to reality, right in the middle of the conversation about the gaming night with my buds, Nina mentioned she watched that new sci-fi flick, Space Beyond. Apparently, it was a visual spectacle that I would love. You know I'm a sucker for a good story with some intergalactic awe. Gotta catch that one sharpish. During the chat, we ended up discussing how advanced and interactive gaming has become over the years. Eric even joked about me becoming a guide for space tourism. Can you believe this guy? But honestly, that doesn't sound half bad considering my recent adventures in the virtual realm. As much as I love reminiscing about our night in outer space, I've got this skyline design that needs my attention. Incorporating architectural aesthetics from various city vistas I've seen in real and virtual worlds is going to be a fun challenge. An eclectic mix of cities lensed through virtual terraforming, Kind of a fusion of Martin's photography project and my VR environment design. Gosh, I could do this all day. But there's design work waiting to be done. Time to switch my gaming mode off and get my designer hat back on. We're going digital terraforming, and the sky's not even the limit. 
Ah, the joy of blending work and play is a treat in itself. Hope you're having a day as fantastic as mine. Promise to keep you posted on my cybernetic creations. Plus, I've got a hot new batch of screen time headaches to share with you on our next hangout. Until then, keep the fire blazing and keep the ideas churning. All right, over and out. Catch you later, space cowboy. So, straight from the techscape, I had this enthralling session today with the drone expert. You know I dabble in photography, right? But this was next-level stuff. We were swooping and weaving between greens and yellows from up above, capturing the essence of nature. And boy, oh boy, Mother Earth sure knows how to put on a show. Every pixel tells a story, and it's about observing it from that unique angle. Looks like my love for tech just keeps blooming. Mark, the drone enthusiast, tagged along, and it was quite an adventure setting our drones free amidst the blue yonder. All this gear talk is tempting me to invest in a drone myself. Isn't that something? While we were at it, guess what came up? The meteor shower tonight. I kid you not, for a jiffy I wished I could send my drone up there to chase those falling stars. Imagine the click value. Then, after our tech chat, I started a pasta vs cookies war with Nina and Eric. Entertaining for sure. Maybe one day we'll have that bake-off and you'll get to see me sporting my chef Amy hat. I'm secretly rooting for my pasta over Nina's triple chocolate cookies. Don't tell her, though. Oh, and better keep away from my drone, Nina. I can so imagine her in an open field, drone in hand, ready to crash it into some tree. I suggested her to try a drone simulator before any real action. Nina encoding, now there's a combo. Turning my gaze back to the starry wonder above, I suggested catching the meteor shower tonight to Eric and Nina. Wouldn't that be a sight for sore eyes? Hopefully, I might also get some inspiration for my digital art project. God, I love our random whims. Anyway, this digitally tuned overloaded brain needs a break. We'll crash onto my earthy bed and dream up a new virtual design. Always remember, never underestimate the blend of tech and creativity.